And welcome back. This is the world's greatest Chad show, not on Sirius XM channel 29.1. The point one is for point fun. I don't know why I keep saying the slogan while I'm on suspension. I am on suspension and doing it in my basement, and I am here to recap day three of the Weekend Wook Brackets, hashtag Fish Bracket 2020, at Weekend Wook on Twitter to vote. I'm here to recap every single day of these brackets if I can hold out. For the next uh, 32 days, I think, are left, 33, something like that. Um, anyway, so I am suspended. I'm doing this from my basement, and I'm starting to get the hang of this, like producing the whole entire thing on my own, the video, the sound, the editing, all that stuff, and I realized something yesterday. Um, this isn't live. I have the ability to edit. This isn't like doing a radio show. Um And I took great comfort in that because I had so much pressure to do everything in one take yesterday. But now I'm like, oh, you know, I could do it in several takes and just piece it all together. So, for example, um, if I wanted to listen to uh, some songs that were featured in the brackets on day three, uh, I could. I could, like, hit pause here for a second, you know, and, like, let's say I wanted to listen to If I Could. You know, let me just do that right now. If I could, I would, but I don't know. Why? Okay, okay, I'm better. I'm, I'm better now. Uh, I need to get back in the mood for the show, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to another one of our songs from the list today. Ah, get me up, get me going, uh, blaze on, here we go. You got your nice shades off, and the worst days are gone. Okay, I'm back, awesome, let's get right into the brackets, shall we? Uh, let's start with, uh, round one, part three, this is from day three of the brackets, the first matchup features Rise Come Together versus NO2, Nitrous, uh, versus The Haunted House. This one, right out of the gate, is too close to call, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the only one of the eight from day three that is too close to call currently i'm showing nitrous at 43.7 percent rise come together at 39.5 percent uh i don't know about this man i don't know how you guys are voting for nitrous ahead i think it's just because maybe nitrous the drug is making a comeback on the lot scene i hope that's not the case but you know what you guys like going to the dentist that much vote for nitrous i voted for rise come together mostly because uh, Andy Michaels from Jemp Radio uh, pointed out that that song's about fucking, and I agree with him 100%, and I actually have a story about that, but not for this show. I'm going to save it because Andy invited me to come on as his guest on Jemp Radio and tell the story, so I'm really looking forward to telling the story uh, with him on Jemp Radio. I hope you guys enjoy it, too. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the second one, Okipa Ceremony versus Spock's Brain versus Anything But Me. I'm feeling comfortable calling this for Okipa Ceremony. We're currently showing about 49% to 40% over Spock's Brain. I think that's the right call. Uh, Okipa Ceremony it looks like it's going to advance. Uh, it will advance to see uh, to face dinner and a movie. And I should mention that the winner of the first one, uh, Nitrous, uh, or... Uh, Rise come together will go on to face about the uh, about to run. So Oki Pa is going to go on to face dinner in a movie. I feel pretty uh, comfortable calling that. All right, let's go to the third one. We're looking at Blaze On versus Talk versus Ass Handed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call this one for Blaze On. Blaze On running away with it with seventy percent of the vote. Talk at fourteen. Ass Handed at about sixteen. Uh, But this also brings us to yesterday's Tweet of the Day. Tweet of the Day from yesterday. Uh, Tweet of the Day from yesterday uh, goes out to at Ghost Twist. At Ghost Twist. Ghost Twist on Twitter. Uh, He writes, It looks like people who prefer to talk at a show instead of blazing on are getting their asses handed to them. Used all three songs in a tweet. That gets you Tweet of the Day. Good job, Ghost Twist. And also a great follow on Twitter if you can. At Ghost Twist. So Blazon is going to go ahead and take on Walk Away. Blazon will take on Walk Away in the next round. Uh, fantastic stuff over there. Okay, moving on. This one's going to be tough. Uh, if I could versus Uncle Pen versus Friday. Uh, 
if I could, just run, just trampling uh, on this one. 82% versus 15% versus 3%. Uh, approximately, there's decimals in there. If I could, just running away with this, and rightfully so. You saw how it affected me. Um, I had tweeted out last night that I thought... I had a tough time with this. I really obviously love If I Could. It's a, you know, just a beautiful ballad. But when I see Uncle Penn, I think of like a muddy lawn at Deer Creek and I lost my shoes and I'm stomping around and Uncle Penn's playing the fiddle in my mind. And I just, there's a, I love Uncle Penn at a show and any of their bluegrass tunes really. But Uncle Penn especially just has a, some kind of just gut like, yes, I just love Uncle Penn. If I Could is going to take on Taste in the next round. If I Could will take on Taste in the next round. I happened to be at the uh, 97 Rally North Carolina uh, Lightning show where uh, Taste ended the first set, and it only ended the first set because Lightning, I think, had struck the pavilion. Um, It was crazy. And speaking of mudslides, man, that was awesome. So uh, Taste uh, is going to go on and uh, try to defend itself over If I Could. Oof, that's going to be a tough one. I love these matchups in the second round. And moving on, we have Set Your Soul Free versus Play by Play versus Hot. Uh, Set Your Soul Free is going to easily win this uh, 75.1% against Play by Play 13.5%. I listened to uh, Play by Play last night. I think it has so much potential it is such a great jam vehicle and i really 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 hope that uh fish just digs in tightens it up just a little bit and just takes it out for a ride i love play by play that was my vote set your soul free you know good job kids you did it set your soul free is going to go on to face foam set your soul free we'll face foam in the next round uh at did fish foam on twitter I'm rooting for you. I'm going to smash foam right now in that second round. I promise you, for you, bro, we're going to get foam as far as we can. Okay, moving on. Uh, The next one is going to be Mercury versus Yarmouth Road versus Thunderhead. Uh, Mercury, hands down, running away with this one with almost 86, uh, well, with 86% of the vote. Uh, Yarmouth Road second. Thunderhead came in last. Uh, my comparison last night, I compared Thunderhead. I really, I did go back and listen to it. Thunderhead reminded me so much of like 90s Wilco, which I thought was, you know, I thought that was, that touched me a little bit. When I really listened to it in that lens, I'm like, oh, you know what? Those guys were listening to like Yankee Hotel Foxtrot before they wrote this song. So Thunderhead reminded me a lot of a Wilco song. Uh, Mercury, to me, cramming a science reference into your chorus, maybe not the most catchy uh, lyric in the world. I'm just saying, like, I mean, yeah, now we all know that Mercury's day is longer than its year, but to what end? I don't know. I voted for Thunderhead just because of that 90s Wilco vibe, but, you know, I got my ass handed to me. So uh, Mercury's going to go on to face uh, Haley's Comet. <laughs> I love that matchup. Mercury versus, It's a cosmic matchup in the second round between Mercury and Haley's Comet. We'll see how that one turns out. Fantastic. Uh, the penultimate uh, matchup here, When the Circus Comes versus Sugar Shack versus Eliza. Uh, when the Circus Comes, running away with this, uh, easily uh, going to win here with 73% of the vote. Um, obviously, we all love a good When the Circus Comes. There's some debate going around I'm seeing in the threads, in the comments. People are feeling weird about voting covers on. Guys, listen. Fish has got, I mean, we have 320 songs in this bracket, and they got to play covers, man. It's just the way, the way it is. And I like when Fish plays covers. Tell me you don't like Golden Age. Tell me people aren't holding signs up for Ween. Uh, you gotta covers kind of come with the territory so when the circus comes is going to advance and face esther in the next round i'm sensing some esther fatigue from uh the 3.0 generation from the millennials i'm not sure it really speaks to them all that well but since esther does take place at a circus and when the circus comes to town is facing esther i think weekend wook set that one up on purpose make sure you visit at weekend wook on twitter hashtag fish bracket 2020 all right, and now we get to the final 
the final uh, matchup here. It's Alumni Blues versus Driver versus Manteca. I'm going to go ahead and call this one for Alumni Blues right now with 47.4% of the vote. Driver coming in second. It's almost 29% of the vote. And Manteca, a very close third uh, with almost 24% of the vote. And that leads me, uh, first of all, to an honorable uh, mention when it comes to uh, tweets from last night. I want to give a shout out to uh, Dead Fish Spread. It's at Rasean, R A S S E A N, at Rasean, writes uh, Yeah, I've been obsessed with Manteca since last Saturday night. I've got through all 16 performances of Manteca. And going through the teases now, I just can't get enough, although I really do love Driver. Bro, you sought out all 16 performances of Manteca, listened to them, and now are finding the teases. That's commitment. Hats off to you, sir. Dead fish spread. Hats off to you. Okay, and we're done recapping. Uh, We'll see you tomorrow, but I'm not going to leave you without giving you your melt of the day melt of the day melt of the day and today we actually have a tie i could not decide between these two for melt of the day so we're just gonna go with both and uh they both have a common theme to them and that's why i couldn't decide between them so we're gonna start with david blevins at dk blev at dk blev david blevins Oh, come on, you 3.0 millennials. You sappy-ass kids need to get in touch with your weird mic side. Okay. Seems like a good solid melt. Our second melt of the day, tied for melt of the day, comes from HBTFD. I have no idea what that stands for. I should probably figure that out. Um, At It's Not Forenzy. If it's not Forenzy, what is it? I, I have so many questions about this account. HBTFD writes, This shit is so predictable, you damn kids. Let your weird side out. Blaze on? Come on. Find another bro anthem. So those are our melts of the day. uh, Both tied. Congratulations, David Blevins and HBTFD. Congratulations to both of you for your melt of the day. And that's going to wrap it up for today. I am World's Greatest Chad. Signing off on the World's Greatest Chad Show. Here from my basement. Not on SiriusXM 29.1. The point one is for more. I gotta stop doing that. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.